We do know from recent studies on coronavirus that there is a link between some cases of COVID-19 and hearing loss and sudden hearing loss in one ear. So that's an interesting finding that certainly more research needs to be done on, but because it is a virus, we know we can have a viral attack of the inner ear, which can cause structural damage and subsequent hearing loss. We also are seeing about a 40% increase in tinnitus for patients that had tinnitus prior to coronavirus. Um, so we think just the fatigue and um, the symptoms of the coronavirus are amplifying tinnitus for patients. Certainly the stress of the recovery involved with COVID-19 is um, most likely to blame. Uh, while recovering, uh, so instrumental music, TV, um, so anything in the background that's soothing for you or pleasant to listen to, to distract the brain away from the tinnitus while you're getting better. So although a lot of people are at home and, and isolating or in quarantine during this period of time, if they're experiencing coronavirus, try to to avoid silence because uh, being in a completely quiet room or, or quiet house is not ideal if you do already have tinnitus or your tinnitus is spiking. So it is a stressful time that we're living in now and we know stress is a huge exacerbator for tinnitus and so dealing with subconscious stress you know a lot of people think oh I'm, I'm handling this fine I'm not I'm not under any you know undue stress because I like staying home and I'm an introvert and I don't mind um, not going out to eat and these kinds of things but what we do know is the stress that impacts tinnitus the most is really that subconscious stress that you might not even be aware of, but it's more your limbic system um, where our emotional center resides. And if someone's saying, you know, I'm really sad because I haven't seen my grandkids for months or I can't get together with my family over the holidays, uh, these types of things are creating a lot of stress and unfortunately stress accelerates, amplifies, increases a person's tinnitus volume. And so we would again advise to use a sound rich environment and anything soothing, relaxing that can calm, calm those systems down.